Hey guys, so another tennis trade for you to check out. And this one's an interesting one. We got into a losing position with our initial trade, but we managed to turn it around and actually end up with a profit. This is one of the great things about tennis trading. And you can see it for yourself and see how we handled that losing position and turned it into a profit. Check it out. So we're going to enter this trade laying Maria Barra, if, if that's how you pronounce it. Uh, 100 pound state so we're laying her here at 1.5 we, we got this profile this is going to be a, a tight match there should be multiple breaks to serve from from both players so we're basically going to lay maria here at 1.5 we're going to look for kukova to break back then we can get that swing in the odds and we can get out of the market but of course we're always going to have a plan b if the price moves against us any further so anyway let's see what happens it's a uh, 2-0 right at the start of the match plenty of time to go so Maria won that service game and her price has gone down to 1.34 so you know it's pretty much a 15 tick move against us when I mean fundamentally not not much has changed we were expecting her to win that serve that service game it's not like there's been another breaker serve so anyway what we can do and what we you've seen me just do we're gonna go in again we're gonna lay her again at 1.35 and we're going to try and see if there's at least a little bit of a clawback on the price. You can see how the price is dipping. We're expecting this uh, support point around around here. So it, we, we could well go in with another lay, but hopefully it doesn't come to that. Hopefully we can uh, start to take some profit out of this one uh, with uh, if, if Kukova wins her next service game. That should put the odds a bit more in our favor, and then we can go from there. But let's see what happens. It's currently 3-0. Obviously... To a lot of people, that looks really bad. But in tennis, well, anything could happen. So, bit of a disastrous start here for Maria Barra. She's just uh, had her serve broken again. But anyway, uh, the price has gone into 1.28 to lay. And we're going to go in once again. You might be thinking, whoa, what is going on? You're, 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 just, uh, you're, you're almost chasing this. It's, it's, not, it's not quite the case. Now, this is pretty much now hitting the uh, support zone. So, we know that... We're going to exit at the end of the first half, regardless. And this price can't go to 1.01 in this in this first set. Okay, so it's 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 pretty much gone as far as it's going to go. And now we're just going to look to see if Kukova can win, win a game or two, and then we can look to try and relieve some of the liability. Keep your eye on the cash out amount that is a currently a 32 pound loss. Don't look at the amount that is actually risk, because remember that is not going to be fully at risk okay anyway let's see what happens um yeah <laughs> we just need kukova to get on the scoreboard and then we can start to take some action okay so kuchova's finally got on the scoreboard okay so remember we laid maria here at 1.5 1.35 and 1.28 okay so let's try and get matched here at 1.35 to just start to try and ease off this liability and try and get the liability down as low as it is okay we're, we're already in a, in a in a bad position as it is so currently our priority is to probably look to minimize our potential loss before we can even think about maybe getting a profit because we can still get a profit out of this situation but um we're gonna put in that bet there uh, 100 pounds 1.35 and then we're going to look to try and get matched at some higher odds if, if she can get the price up higher. And then we'll see where we stand. But uh, maybe the recovery starting here. It's a 1-4 in that first set. So Kukova's serving much better now. She's just won her service game. So the gap has been closed now to 4-2. And so look, we've now backed her at 1.35 and 1.47, £100 each. Now look at the cash out. You can start to see some green shoots. Okay, so we were in a bit of a hole, but now it's it's turned around just with the natural kind of volatility and ebb, ebb and flow of that first set. So you can see a bit of a, a recovery there. But we still want the original plan right we still want uh, Kukova to kind of level it and get back even in this first set for us to take the profit that we're looking for so obviously it's great look we've managed to lower the liability the liability somewhat in this trade but now we should try to aim and and take a decent profit from this so anyway let's see uh, Maria's serving right now let's see how this one goes 
So now we're in a good situation here with uh, it being 15.40 uh, on Barra's serve. So the price has now gone up on Maria to uh, 1.64. And yeah, that, that's been taken. So, I mean, now all our liability has been removed from this trade. And there's two break points. So if she can uh, convert one of them, then, then, then that should be it for the trade. But either way, we're, we're probably in a good position to take profit at this particular moment. So let's see what happens here. This would be great if we get it in this in this one take. Okay, and she's got it. So there you see it. So the the, the match has been, or the first set has been effectively leveled. It's now gone to four three. Kukova's about to serve. The markets are assuming she's going to win that service game, so they're effectively at four four. But anyway. Uh, hopefully this has been a good example for you guys to check out because uh, I, I just the main thing I wanted to demonstrate is how is how dynamic you can be when you are trading tennis. You saw we went in with that original lay on Maria. It was we went in at 1.5. It went down to 1.28 and it kind of looked hopeless at that point. It was 4-0 to Maria, and a lot of people might think, well, that's it. I'm going to just take the loss at that particular point. But um, as, as we know, and we've referred to this in the other videos, that is going to be a support zone. And you may as well get in there and see if a recovery can happen uh, from, from, from the favorite. doesn't always happen, and you have to just take the loss on the chin. But usually in tennis, you do get a chance. And we, even if we only just got that initial uh, swing that we got, remember it went up to like 1.35. Just even that is enough to lower your li liability somewhat. But in this case, we, we got the whole thing and we walked out with, with, a, with a pretty decent profit from it all. Okay, so uh, th there you have it. We're, we're back level in this first set. So I hope you've enjoyed checking those out and I strongly urge you to give it a go. Tennis trading can be very low risk if you approach it correctly. And for me, it's the most enjoyable sport to trade of all. And on the screen now is a bit of information about the program Ultimate Tennis Trading as I am getting emails about this several times a day at the moment and they are just increasing in volume as the days go on. And the main reason for that is because at the time of recording this video, it has actually been over a year since we opened this course to the public due to many reasons beyond our control, as you can probably imagine. But Tennis Trading is now back and it is booming with loads of money flying around in those markets and there is strong interest in it again. And so we're hoping to open the course again very soon. So if you do want to learn tennis trading, then this is the course you need and you can get on the waiting list by clicking the link in the description of this video. Okay, so just scroll down, check out the description. I'll put the link up near the top so it's easy to find and put in your very best email address. And then you'll be the first to know when the doors open once again. And do keep in mind that this course was designed specifically for people who have no clue about tennis, about the sport of tennis. And you will learn the main thing is how to trade a tennis match from start to finish, even if you know nothing about tennis. Because you could argue that I trade a lot of tennis and I still don't know much about tennis. I still couldn't name a lot of the, a lot of the players apart from the, the, the really famous ones. And you don't really need to know because it is all in the numbers. And you're also going to learn how to do the pre-match research to pick out your own trades. And it only takes 30 seconds. Again, it's all in the numbers. Similarly to how to read a tennis match. It's not really about the, uh, the emotions or anything like that. It's all in the numbers. Okay. And then you're going to get three low risk strategies and then two advanced strategies. So altogether you get five strategies and that is one for each set. And that doesn't mean you have to trade the whole match. You could just pick whichever strategy you like the look of and just trade that single set and then move on and be done for the day. Okay. But there's a lot in the package and there are some other great bonuses as well which aren't mentioned on the page today but that is enough information for now if you are interested and you want to learn how to trade tennis in more detail then just click the link in the description get your email in on the waiting list and you will be the first to know once we do finally reopen those doors once again but anyway Thank you for watching. If you haven't done so already, do hit the subscribe button if you do like all this content. And if you want to keep watching, there are two videos on the screen right now that are worth watching. Okay, so click on one of those videos and I will see you in the next video.